Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this Sunday. It's Sunday, Sunday. What's, let me get the date just to keep everything, you know, official. It's May the 5th, 2024, on a Sunday. Extremely overcast sky is here. Uh, I can see the sun attempting to peek out. And, you know, open up the morning for us all. And I wanted to come on through from my uh, my little studio, my temporary studio. You know, my temporary place of residence until I decide where I want to go and what I want to, you know, what areas and blah, 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 blah. And getting some experiences about certain realities of how people are living and get some reality uh some experiences as to how people are you know dealing with the uh the complexities of life you know you can see it in in certain communities i mean that's why i like coming in these type of communities i remember as a first responder um i said this before where you know i wanted to be in a certain area that most people didn't want to be in most people did not want to work in the areas where i was working they did not want to see it and not be, you know, involved with it. And that's fine. I mean, you know, each each one of us have free will. But you have to be really clear and effective about why you avoid certain things. You know, why do you avoid certain things? You know, why do you avoid certain uh, realities that people are, are experiencing? Because it's only, it helps you to be exact be as experienced as possible in the um the situations some of us are facing and how people you know in other words you can learn a whole lot from people that are struggling or or your presumption of it you can learn a lot from people that are you know in a in a in, in some ways maybe desperate maybe um hopeful you know they have a lot of hope which is in my opinion sometimes doubt when somebody says you know i'm hopeful that means they're kind of doubtful also you know that's that contradiction and mental gymnastics that we go through when we're attempting to uh you know share our experiences and it's a lot of mental gymnastics a lot of people are piling on a lot of uh um labeling of themselves labeling of others and you know making these claims about their skills and abilities and you know we all are doing it you know all of a sudden nobody has been listening to anything for thousands of years maybe millions of years and now everybody is that's coming forward now if you've noticed claim to know something about what's going to happen in the future you know they want to uh, a lot of people claim that they're hearing voices from God and hearing voices from dead people, and you know it's just it's just um, it's just um, it's kind of sad that we, uh, I mean, the more, large majority of us are not picking up on the troubles that we face. And I told you a lot of people for for thousands of years as well have have been predicting uh, end of days, end of days, and a lot of people were disappointed. That you that were doing that because, you know, they realized they were not as powerful powerful as they thought they were. Props and smoke and mirrors has been in our face for as long as I have been living. I'm sure my parents and I'm sure for hundreds of years, thousands of years. There's just a lot of uh, smoke and mirrors, and we seem to fall for it every time too. Yeah, we seem to, and that's because of the of the oratory type of personalities that are out there. You know, they speak very well. They're very persuasive, very convincing, and you know, and it's hard to tell the difference now. That's all. I'm no different than anyone else. I just do what I uh, I sense and believe. Not sense and believe. I sense and receive is is uh, helpful. But I also make it entertaining. I make it fun. 
you know, because, you know, like my sound re resonates with whoever it's going to resonate with. Okay. And it's not a lot of people, by the way. I mean, it's not a lot of people that are resonating with me and my sounds and tones. And that's, that's perfectly normal, actually. Because I told you about the consciousness level. We're all, some of us are parallel. And some of us, you know, have done everything in their, in, in their power to kind of warn people via, via their creativity. That's why I love the, creati the, cre the creative types. You know, they do it with their music. They do it with their sounds and tones. You know, music, lyrics, uh, projects. You know, they, they attempt to visually affix it. You know, like I said, um, like, like I talked about with the Georgia Guidestone, why that was uh, intentionally targeted and destroyed. So a lot of people, because of their development, the first thing they're going to do, which they know that they have the ability to do, is destroy visual structures. You know, whether it's a building, whether it's land, you know, and the same thing about human beings as well. A lot of people are going to be targeting human human beings too at some point because of the, the uh, degeneracy and the uh, illogical thinking and not understanding, you know, the um, the makeup of a human being, what it means to be a human being in the true sense. A lot of people just don't know that. So they think, well, if I just kill this, kill these people or kill those people, you know, everything will be perfectly fine for us, you know, whoever us are. You know, a lot of people are and have been. And that's why we should, we ought to not be get all upset about it. But there's always been them against us, us against them. That has always been. You know, you remember the cowboys and the Indians growing up and people watching that? Okay, you know, it, it, everything, just everything has been entertained. It turned into entertainment. And, and it's all been commercialized. Everything's commercialized. Somebody's at least trying to sell you something. They want you to buy something. They want you to believe something. So that's why they are, have, um, have, they know that sounds and tones work, you know, because of how we consume certain things. And, it, and you know, there's a lot of people that are sophisticated with evil intentions. And you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know you're even sleeping with somebody like that. Some people are waking up and realizing what they've uh, been sleeping next to, you know, for 5, 10, 15, 20, maybe, you know. But for their safety purposes, you know, they just remain silent. But there's so much you can do with silence, though. You know, I told you a lot of people that I know resonate with me work in all walks of life. I know that. I sense that and receive it, and they sense and receive it. But they know... There's only so much they can say and do, you know, for their safety. And, and, it, and it is about self-preservation. Why would you want to, you know, stick your neck out and knowing that no one's going to be there to, you know, or able to save you? So I do support the silent revolution of those that are doing the best you can. You know what's going on. You know that there's devastation ahead. And you're not attempting to prophesize off of it. You know what I mean? And, and make money off of it. You know, you, you're doing what you need to do in your creativeness to keep food on the table, yes. And, um, you know, keep the, keep, keep the lights on, so to speak. And that's what I do as well as a creative type. Um, again, if you take your, take your attention off of social media and really, really, really ground yourself in your reality and pay attention to what's going on, you'll realize that most of the so, most of the stuff on the social media platform is smoke and mirrors. All people have to do is just change their range, change their cameras, and they'll show you the best of themselves. You know, because that's what the that's what the filters and all that stuff on the social media pla on the social media. I mean, from our equipment, you know, our cell phones, you know, our cell phones are doing it for us. You know, that interference with reality, which we love to do with technology. We love to interfere with reality, you know, and and um, it's um, it's criminal in nature the things that have been done to us uh, behind the scenes. You know, everything looks 
Like I say, everything looks great looking in. But, you know, you go behind the scenes and you realize, and you pull that curtain open, and you realize, uh oh. Uh oh. You know, and so many people I know for a fact, so many people want to do the right things. But then what happens is, um, you know, you just have to be creative about how you disclose information to people. You know, um, you have to go through the proper um, chain of command, you know, when you're attempting to expose people. Or what I mean by that, you know, a lot of people want to be whistleblowers, want to come forward and think that they are uh, exposing stuff. And, and all you're doing is signing your death certificate is what you're doing. When you, when you attempt to take on these giants or this giant amount of um, uh, dangers that are ahead for a lot of us, you know, it's, it's only the tip of the iceberg, literally, figuratively and metaphorically. And what's going to happen is, um, yes, it's very noble to come forward and tell the truth about what's happening, especially if you're complicit in certain activities and this and that and the other but you need to distinct. You need to step back and say, okay, well, but why am I doing it? Can I do it in another creative way to somehow redeem what I've done? You know, that's what that's what adults do. That's what that's what I mean by think. You're thinking, changing your thinking mode. A lot of people just want people, to, somebody to tell them what to do all the time. Well, those days are over. You're gonna and people like that, which are lazy in their consciousness, when they sit around and wait for somebody else to do things. And say, oh, well, when so-and-so gets in office, this. When this president is elected, that. When this person is promoted, this. When I get that promotion, that. You know, you, it's, that's, uh, that's, that's that thinking, that change of thinking mode that a lot of us need to apply to our lives. I, I can sense already a, a large majority of people will be spinning in an abyss. abyss you know, just spinning, spinning, get out of one career of fraud and manipulation, pyramid schemes, Ponzi schemes, and then they come back with another one. That's all they know. And they usually do that because they look at when people, they look at the uh, the misfortunate ones, you know, people that are misfortunate and made some mistakes, and maybe a lot of mistakes. And that's when those vultures come in. You know, they, there's different type of vultures now. And just you know, and so that's why you need to think about how people are attempting to to relay information to you. And the best way again is through sounds and tones. But if you're not grounded in your reality, you're, you're hallucinating all the time. You're in fantasy, and you're not re recognize that you are in fantasy. Yes, I love to be in fantasy and imagination, but I know that I need to come out of that and handle my business. You know, clean my room, clean my you know, clean my room, clean my studio out, you know, get myself prepared for the next, for next opportunities and this and that and the other. It just, it doesn't stop and it won't stop. It's going to actually speed up. Have you noticed that? Have you felt that? Without all of this supernatural, there is no supernatural, but you can, you can consider supernatural all you want. Okay. But again, in a gentle, kind way, I'm saying this to individuals, if you are hearing voices other than your own, meaning someone, somebody, somewhere, and it's usually somebody outside of you. A lot of people look up into the sky for some reason, and that there's a reason to look up into the sky, you know, because, you know, because of the beauty of it is my opinion, why I like looking up and looking around at nature, the trees, what the animals and birds are doing. But again, a lot of people are going to be coming forward because because of, uh, you know, the, 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 because that's what the dawning of the age of Aquarius does. With any cosmic change as such, it's going to, uh, it's, it's uncovering a lot of things, exposing a lot of things. And so a lot of people need to save face. You know, they've been, been sitting sitting pretty for 5, 10, 15, 20 years thinking, oh, it's not coming. It's, I'm good. I'm good. Cap you know, complacency is the, 
that ought to be a disease. <laughs> Complacency. You know, when you're complacent and, you know, you, you know, you're pushing that, pushing responsibilities off on someone else because you think it's not going to affect me. But that's the person that doesn't understand the passing. You know, when you pass away, what, when you're becoming and passing, becoming and passing, you are going to know some things about what was neglected from a previous space and time, okay, previous personalities and this and that and the other. And a lot of people are still very confused about that. They figure they're not going to be uh, suffering the consequences, and uh, that's a fallacy, okay, Yes, you'll be a new person. You know, once we so-called, quote-unquote, reincarnate or become again, you know, we, we become, we pass. In other words, we, we're physical. We, uh, we bec you know, we're becoming and passing. Becoming physical, passing spiritual. Becoming physical. You know, it's it's, just, it's a cycle, and it goes on and on and on and on for billions upon billions upon billions of years. And you're going to know that. You that's looking into a mirror, hopefully, uh, not into your cell phones. Please put them down if you can, if you want to. You don't have to. You know, how many how many selfies do you need? You know, just, just ask yourself these simple, gentle questions. No one needs to know you're doing all these things. That's that silent revolution. And, uh, you know, give nature the respect that nature has earned. You know, planet Earth does not need human beings. Okay. And so, uh, you know, a lot of, like I said, a lot of people are going to be coming forward, claiming that, they, that somebody spoke to them. Okay. Pay attention to that. Okay. And if you're one of those people... Ask yourself, okay, what am I attempting to prove here? Do I have evidence of anyone? And in most cases, people that say that, they know that they hadn't heard a goddamn thing from anyone. But they know that that's powerful to say that, you know, that because they, because they don't trust themselves for number, number one. And so they don't trust themselves. And so they know that they need to project out something else. You know, add more labeling, you know, all because you got diagnosed as this. A lot of people believe that's a pass to continue with reckless and careless behaviors towards other people, you know, and, and say, and say, well, it's because of this. That's why I do what I do. And, you know, that's irresponsibility and that's childish and immature. Okay, no labeling that anyone has, I don't care who you are, will justify uh carelessness, reckless, you know, being reckless and being um, evil, malicious, degenerate, okay, no label, narcissistic, all of that, clerics, whatever, cult leaders, you know, false prophets, whatever you're calling yourself, false messengers, heralds, nothing justifies a certain treatment towards human beings or giving you a pass to be dis, be allowed to continue with your recklessness okay and 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 you know and the, and the way we treat each other there to me those there are some that know that they're being uh, they, they they know that their intentions are evil you know they, they know they're not hearing well and maybe you know and maybe what it is is that they know that they have been diagnosed with something but they want to hide that from people you know again if you are around, if someone tells you that they're hearing voices other than their own, and usually it, they, usually they believe that it's coming from somewhere else, okay, we have to be grounded and know, okay, if I'm hearing voices, maybe I'm hearing somebody's voices outside, they have to be very clear and effective to you about what voices are they hearing and where are these voices coming from. Can I see the person uh, giving you all the these messages and and if I can't see it and I'm very I'm grounded in my reality I'm going to still question this person a lot more deeper about okay where are these voices coming from 
And that's what psychiatrists and psychologists are supposed to be doing. Okay. So I, I sent a plea out to the psychiatrists and psychologists and those of you who claim to be so experienced and um, experts in these certain type of uh, realities that people are so-called experiencing. You're supposed to be helping with this and resolving it for people and being, by, and being firm. Okay, again, protect yourself. Protect your finances. Okay, no one knows anything about my palms any more than they know anything about the bottom of my feet. Okay, I've been wanting to say this, but, and I'm not attempting to offend people, but, you know, there's a lot of, and the reason why I'm saying this is because we're being harassed. Every time I go on social media, I'm harassed by somebody that, I, you know, just just come out and t telling me they have a message for me. I don't, you know, that they, you know, got a message for me and this and that and the other. And we, we know what that was. In the beginning, it was about palms. And I noticed I don't get a lot of uh, traction of that. Now I get people coming forward telling me, to reach out to this person, reach out to that person. I got a message for you to have, you know, there's something about your energy and, you know, and and why would you approach people that way anyway? Would you go on the street and approach people like that? Most people won't put up with it. So it's like we can't really avoid it on a social media platform. We can't avoid that type of harassment and garbage that people are uh, attempting to indoctrinate all of us. Again, it's always about getting the edge on people. And, of course, you're going to have to pay them, right? So pay attention to this. No, Again, if someone's here for us, I'm going to keep saying it because millions of people believe that. They can hear the voices of the dead. Okay, that means you need to get help. Okay. That means you need to get help if you if you claim you can hear the voices of the dead. Now, any of all of us can sit back intentionally and think about our loved ones and uh, have uh, these uh, experiences where you know we we are rem remembering we're having memories of people that we loved that once existed. We look at a shirt and say, okay, yeah, my dad used to wear that. We look at a dress and say, okay, mom used to wear that. And that's why I say, you know, if I were you, video, you know, video stuff for your family, you know, when you do pass away, so that they can have something to, to, to rem remember you by. It's memories, okay? And it's, and, it, and it's not anything intentional to, to, to be, feel so powerful about. If, if I hear my mom's voice saying saying something to me and telling me something to do, okay, that means I need to find out what's really going on with me. Okay? Yes, every now and then some people will pick up certain impulses of inspiration of things. You know, we all do because of the energy. That's the energy. It's all energy. Okay? It's all energy. So yes, you're gonna you're gonna have some inspiration. You're gonna have some ideas, and that's different. That's what creative creative creative. Look at me. I can't even speak this morning. But that's what we do. The creative types. We are able to pick up certain inspiration, certain muse. You know, by looking in somebody's eyes, listening to somebody's voice. That's that's a little different. And we. So that's why we got to separate the wheat the wheat from the chaff. We have to, because there's too many people infusing their way into our realities. And it's all about indoctrination. They know that they're being malicious. They know they're not necessarily hearing anything. But they want to be powerful and important. So they're going to be talking all over the world, talking to groups of people, you know, talking to victims, you know, people that are sad and despair because they just lost a loved one. And they're going to come in and claim that they are hearing something from your loved one. You know, that's, that's fraud, deception, and it's criminal because they're affecting your consciousness. They're affecting your psyche. No one is hearing voices from the dead. What you may be picking up is impulses because of the person. Because we go nowhere. 
when I say we, I talk about the energy of who we are. We stay with this planet for as long as this planet is uh, existing. And sadly, this planet is going to be, a lot of us are going to have to leave this planet. And that's something I'll talk about another time. Because because the conditions are not going to be uh, suitable for human existence. How about that? And this planet was supposed to be our home for the rest of our evolution. But we've destroyed it. Okay? You know, it's being destroyed right before our eyes. So, I like I said, I know that certain people resonate with me. And I know certain people don't. Certain people are like, okay, that bitch crazy. Okay, okay. Hey, we're all crazy in some form or fashion anyway. But you can't fool your consciousness. You know, we are all, some of us, like I said, are parallel. And we know what's going on, whether we try to deny it or not. Most people believe, you know, if I just become reclusive, and a lot of them have, a lot of people just decided to, okay, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't witness this. So they've stepped away from humanity and they're hiding, you know, wherever they're hiding, you know, just to, just to get through this. And, and they are thankful that most of our lives do not last that long. A hundred years is not a long time. And barely anyone makes it to a hundred. Pay attention. So protect your psyche from misinformation and people attempting to indoctrinate you. Just be silent about it. No one needs to know. You know, let them go. They're not going anywhere. They're going to keep coming forward, wanting to speak to you. You know, God said something to me and, and you know, and, wow, you know. You know, again, if a family member of mine or someone, a significant other of mine were coming forward, talking to me like that, well, I would do everything in my power to assist them with getting help. I really, really would. Um. So that we can this, so that we can stop all of this garbage that's interfering with our evolution of our consciousness, interfering with us thinking about how we're going to be safe during these these destructive times that are before us. You know, there's destructive times coming before us, and it's going to be uh, climate related. Okay, climate related. So I had to really be careful about how I speak to people because, again, you know, I'm developing too. I've made a lot of mistakes with what, what, I've, what I've attempted to disseminate and, or attempted, attempting to share and not realizing that, you know, certain people are looking for opportunities to be something that they're not. So they'll plagiarize my words, my creativity, your words, your creativity, and spin it out and believe that they've the one that said this, you know, that they're the all-powerful one. Everybody needs to be listening to them, nobody else. Pay attention. I've experienced it. We've ex- and I'm so thankful I've gone through that experience I told you about a couple of weeks ago. Somebody finally, finally was exposed. I kept attempting doing everything in a subtle way because it's not my responsibility. Uh, I mean, you can only do so much when when you're dealing with an adult. But for the most part, you're supposed to just step back and allow this person that created their own self-created catastrophes, let them, let them reap what they've sown. And I know it's hard for some people to... Uh, to allow people to reap what they've so what they've have sown because we we want to save people you know you're supposed to back off you know and let these let them let them understand the errors in their ways if you keep coming back coming and saving them and saving them and saving them that you're going to be doing that forever and ever and ever and ever okay and I'm talking about conscious related situations. Of course, if somebody is about to get themselves injured, yes, you could step in and help. Okay, so understand what it means literally, figuratively, and metaphorically in your thinking modes. 
That's how you ought to be thinking all the time, in a literal, figuratively, and metaphoric level. Symbolic, abstract, subjective, objective, you know, and, and bringing in your sensing, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right there on this Sunday morning on the West Coast, east side of town, baby, baby. Enjoy your life. Have fun with yourself. Don't take yourself so seriously. You're not that important. And that's a good thing, by the way. That's a positive thing. Okay, because then that means that you can just be. You can just be. So I'm going to say peace and love all over stars and moon and mountain. Trust me. I'll be back.